What's up you guys, it's Deepo here and today I'm going to show you how to give this 2.5D parallax effect to your steel images in Photoshop. Also if you want to keep learning how to do such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So this is the image to which I'll be giving the 2.5D parallax effect. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial then the download link for this image will be in the description below. So the first step we need to do is separate out the model from the background. So for that select quick selection tool. And then using quick selection tool make the selection of the model in the image. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. So as you can see near the right hand we have selected some extra, let me just zoom into the image in order to show it to you. Now in order to deselect this selection all you need to do is click on this minus brush key icon and then using the brush you can hover over the part which you want to deselect. Now again if you want to select something then click on this plus brush icon. So now as you can see now our selection is looking proper now in order to ensure that our selection is looking smooth all you need to do is click on the select and mask option. After that select the refine edge brush tool and now using the refine edge brush tool you can hover over the edges in order to get a smooth selection. So now for this image the selection is already smooth so now I am not refining it any further. So now near the properties tab go to the output settings. After that select the output as new layer and then click on ok. So now as you can see now you have the new layer created with just the model in it. Now let me just rename that layer to model as well. After that make the background layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the eye icon. After that unlock the background layer by clicking on the lock icon. Now for this background image we only need to keep the background in the image and remove the model from it so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on the icon of the model layer which will give you the selection of the model. Now after that we need to expand the selection a little bit so for that go to select and then modify and then select the option as expand. After that set the value of the expand by to 20 pixels and then click on ok. So now as you can see our selection has been expanded, now after that right click inside of the selection and then select the option as fill. After that set the contents as content aware and then click on ok. So now over here the photoshop will try to fill the area of the selection with that of the surrounding pixels so that it looks like as if the model was not present in the image itself. Now in order to show you the effect of what we just did, clicking on this eye icon of the model layer. So now as you can see the area of the selection has been filled with that of the background layer. After that press ctrl or command on mac plus d in order to deselect the selection. Now if your photoshop has not done a good job in filling the background then you will have to correct it using the clone stamp tool. But since that part is not the part of this tutorial so I am skipping it. After that unhide the model layer by clicking on the icon. And let me just rename the current layer as background. So now we have the model in a single layer and the background in the single layer. Now after that we need to create a new document so for that go to file and then select the option as new. After that set the width as 1920 pixels and then set the height as 1080 pixels which is usually the size of a video. Now after that set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on ok. Now after that we need to drag the model layer and the background layer in this document so for that go to our original document. After that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this model layer which will give you the selection of the model layer as well as keep the selection of the background layer. After that select move tool and now using the move tool drag the two layers into a newly created document. Now after that we need to scale down this image so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t in order to bring up the transform tool. Now after that let me just fit this image into a document so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus zero key of your keyboard in order to fit this image into the document. 
After that, you can scale down this document as follows. After that, click on this tick icon to place it. Now, let me just again fit the image into this document. Now, after that, we need to create a timeline for creating our parallax effect. So, for that, go to Window and then select the option as Timeline. After that, make sure your both the model and the background layers are selected. If not, then you can press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the unselected layer. After that, click on Create Video Timeline, which will add the two selected layers into the timeline over here. So as you can see, the model layer has been added and the background layer has been added as well. Now after that, we need to convert the model layer into a smart object and the background layer to smart object as well. So for that, make the model layer active by clicking on it and then right click on the layer and then select the option convert to smart object. After that make the background layer active by clicking on it and do the same thing which we had done for the model layer. Now after that let's come to our timeline section. Now after that make the model layer active by clicking on it and then click on the drop down besides the model in order to expand it. Now in a parallax effect what we want for model is zoom in kind of effect so for that we will have to reduce the size of the model in the beginning so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t in order to bring up the transform tool. After that let's reduce the size of the model a little bit. So now this looks proper after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now after that we need to add our first keyframe so for that click on the stopwatch icon of the transform which will add the first keyframe at the start of the video. So as you can see there is one yellow mark at the start that is a keyframe. Now move the slider towards the end of the video. This much is proper. Now after that again press ctrl or command on mac plus t in order to bring up the transform tool. And now after that scale up the size of the model as follows. So this looks proper, after that click on this tick icon to place it. So now as you can see as you clicked on the tick icon it added one more keyframe over here. Now let's drag that keyframe at the end. Now let me just show you the effect which we have created. So for that dragging the slider at the start. So now as you can see as I drag the slider towards right it looks like we are zooming into the model. So now let me just place the slider at the beginning. So now that's it for the model. Now let's start with the background image. Now for the background image we want a zoom out kind of effect. So for that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then click on the drop down besides the background. After that press ctrl or command on mac plus t in order to bring up the transform tool. And then let's scale out the background image as follows. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now after that let's add our first keyframe so for that click on the stopwatch icon of the transform and then move the slider towards the end. After that again bring up the transform tool and then scale down the background image. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it and then drag the keyframe at the end. Now after that let me just show you the final effect for both the background and the model. So for that clicking on this play button. So now this is looking proper. Now let's add some snowfall kind of effect in order to make it look more better. So for that make the model layer active by clicking on it. After that go to file and then select the option place embedded. After that select the snowfall overlay option, download link for the snowfall overlay is in the description below and then click on the place. After that scale it properly so that it fits the document and then click on the stick icon in order to place it. After that change the blend mode of the snowfall overlay to screen. Now in the timeline section find the snowfall layer. Now for this snowfall layer we need to minimize the time of the snowfall so for that let me just go at the end and then drag it to our original size of the video. So now as you can see we have reduced the time of this snowfall layer with that of the model and the background layer. Now after that you can click on the play button and then see the final effect. It might take some time in order to render a smooth video. Now once you are satisfied with the effect and everything is looking proper then you can click on the panel icon 
and then select the option as render video. After that give any name of your choice and then set the preset as YouTube HD 1080 pixels and then click on render option. Now after that the video will be available to your destination folder which you had selected. So yeah that's it guys hope you guys like this video on how to give this 2.5D parallax effect to your photos in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.